We're good to go? All right. <clears throat> Heavy ass feet. <laughs> don't be too loud over there either. People, if y'all know I'm talking to my sister in the background, she watching. But yo, 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 welcome to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 42. And I'm back. I'm back. We're back again. You know, your host DW, and I got a new guest. Not a new guest, you know, regular. Oh, you playing me. <laughs> I ain't playing you. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Jay's, Jay's been hopped up on freaking ASMRs for the past, like, two, three months. I was on the go. <laughs> All right, go. <laughs> <laughs> you want to introduce yourself? They already know me. Oh, they do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we got to have Jay back in the episode because this is a very special episode. It's not today, but if y'all don't know, it's it's this week. It's a, uh, we'll call it no, it's a uh, no regulars day. Because at this same time, June 22nd, 2021 is no regulars day. I wrote it in my book when I first created this uh, podcast. See, look, I'm going to show y'all. This is proof. Y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. June 22nd, 2021. And I wrote, it's only up from here. And this is my podcast book. Y'all probably seen the name. It says Jaylene Sierra Podcast Book. No, that's not her podcast book. It's my <laughs> podcast book. But yeah, a year ago today, look where we're at. We're, what, uh, 42 episodes in already? That's crazy. That's a lot. I know. I didn't even think. Like, you know, with me, I feel like shit just comes to me. Like, with this, I was just like, hmm. Like, I wasn't even afraid. I didn't even think this was going to be bad. It was just like a quick thing, too. Like, you were watching podcasts, and then you were like, oh, I'm going to start one. Yeah, I know. Like, it's like, because, you know, some people be, I don't know, some people be hesitant with things, and, like, if things doesn't go that well in the beginning, it's like, they give up. I was like, in my mind, I was like, as soon as I put it in the group chat, like, yo, I'll make a podcast, I was like, yeah, I can't, I can't turn down on this, because I can't be, I'm not one of those people, I gotta, we gotta go full force, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to y'all for supporting us throughout the uh, it's not hasn't been a year yet of the podcast. It's a year since we created the podcast, so technically one year anniversary. You know what I'm saying? But thank you again. Shout out to all y'all and oh, happy Father's Day! It's Father's Day today. It's not Father's Day when this thing drops, but happy and Father's Juneteenth. Day and Juneteenth. You know what I'm saying? All the black people. You know I'm half black if y'all don't know already, and Asian. Even though I don't look black, Jay Jay got some the N word in her. She's Puerto Rican. She mm. got a little black in her. Don't worry. She she from the streets. Let them know. From the city. <laughs> <laughs> And shout out to my pops If you listen to this man Happy Father's Day All that good stuff Shout out to my mom Because she always listens to this I never shout her out After graduation You want to shout out anybody? Um, shout out to my family My brother Because he watches this Rachel You already know Yeah tell him Happy, Father, happy Father's Day Benji You know what I'm saying Yes, yes sir, sir. <laughs> Elijah if you watching this man Nah I love you too kid <laughs> <laughs> But if you haven't If you guys haven't already uh, follow all the socials down below. Put them in the description. Follow us on TikTok on No Regulars. We're already at a hundred and fifty-seven thousand. One year later, a hundred fifty-seven thousand followers. Shout out to y'all, man. Um, how much you have on YouTube? Uh, seventeen hundred. That's 17, so good. Almost two thousand on you. Uh, two thousand on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram at No Regulars Podcast. I think we're four fifty, almost at five hundred. For what, Instagram? Yeah, that's hard. I ain't gonna lie, 500. It's hard to get followers on Instagram. It is. <clears throat> oh, shit. <sighs> Sorry. It's that sparkling water. People, tap in, bro. Poland Spring go. Sparkling with Twist of Triple Berry, bro. Y'all sparkling. Don't... Sparkling. <laughs> you just hating on me. Yo, they don't know, bro. You know about the sparkling water? I don't. It's booty. You hating. But um, what else? Oh, join the Discord if you guys want to talk to us and shit like that. Discord link will be down below if you want to talk shit to us. You want to go play video games with us. Um, Have you guys played video games with anybody yet? Uh, no, not yet. We just been arguing. <laughs> they just been arguing about the finals. Oh, if y'all haven't noticed, I got my I got my jersey on too because because uh, uh, the NBA draft is this week and the NBA finals just finished it up. I got a meme of Jay. I'll put it right here. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna put that meme. That is so funny. <laughs> UJ hated you. Shout out UJ and Tom, bro. Y'all almost had it. Dang. Free them. <laughs> it's all right, man. They'll UJ's, get it next year. UJ's my friend for life. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else am I missing? Uh, oh, subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Subscribe down below and send this to a friend. To send it to a friend and all that other weird stuff people be saying on YouTube and all that stuff. Subscribe down below. Comment. DM us if you want to talk to us. Don't DM JR. I'm going to come at you through your door. The memories is going to pull up at your crib. I don't care where you live at. Don't DM and all that weird stuff. You want to ask questions, ask me. You know what I'm saying? But um, 
Am I missing anything? You unless you're a girl. Yeah, unless you want to talk about girl stuff with Jay. Because she know a little something, man. She got good advice. A little something. <laughs> you got good advice. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. But um, what you want to talk about today? What you want to talk about? You got anything you want to talk about? Not right now. Uh, not right now. All right, I got I got a I got a question I want to ask you. I'm trying this TikTok thing. They said if you go like that, it's supposed to get smaller. What the thing? People, I'm sorry, my audio listeners. Jay out here freaking. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. She uh mangling a, a airhead. <laughs> it yeah. didn't work, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of did, low key. What it got smaller? A little bit. Let me see like, that shit. They usually this small though. What's this shit made out of? Artificial flavoring. I swear, like we could be eating tires. This shit could be good tires. This, shit, you ain't lying. <laughs> we got snacks on board today, but we got some Chips Ahoy cookies. We're not sponsored, hey, but if y'all want to sponsor us, just the end. Just, just hit me up. Oh, merchandise! I almost forgot. Damn, that's what I was forgetting. Oh, yeah. Merchandise coming soon, probably at the end of the month. You know, designs coming in probably by the end of the week. We're gonna have. You know, our little hype up thing is gonna the shop is gonna be open soon, maybe in a week or two, shit like that. And um yeah, but um uh yeah. Alright, so I got a question to ask you, right? So would you take an offer of a hundred million dollars, but every dollar you spend, a random living Oh, every dollar you spend, a random person dies. Wait, say the first part. So, would you take an offer of a hundred million dollars, right? Mm-hmm. But for every dollar you spend from that a hundred million dollars, a random person dies. Somebody random. Random people die every day. <laughs> but think about it. You're the cause of a hundred million deaths. Damn. You are a murderer. <laughs> so if I so if I spend. Twenty dollars when they twenty people die. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah, it could. Oh uh, yeah, probably. So like, it could be like a, a mass accident. Like imagine you just spend twenty. Like you buy like something from McDonald's. What if I spend fifty k? Then it might not be at once, but it might just be like it. Might, it's like random. So like if you spend twenty dollars, it might twenty people might die at once. But like you never know. At fifty thousand, might just be like at that one moment, fifty thousand people from different parts of the globe die. Like people might five thousand might die in war, a thousand might die because they get sick. Because you know people die every second. Are you looking it up? How many people die in a day? No, come close to the mic. Oh, you can move the mic back. Come on, All right, it's not saying it. I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't? Mm-mm. I would. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm spending. I, this is like a dollar fifty. A person definitely died. As soon as I spent it. Yeah, but if you spend all that money in one spot, it could be like a mass shooting, a bomb hit New York, all pe- like the whole population die. Hmm. I mean. All right, not the whole population, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. But a hundred million dollars, I'm broke. Like imagine I bought like sixty. I I mean sixty k. Oh dang! Like imagine, I, like imagine, I'm freaking uh. What's it called? Imagine I'm buying something online, like it's like sixty dollars, and then it was like a, like a, like a freaking explosion. You're a murderer. But like they don't know I am. That's true. But do you want to live with that guilt? Money, ma- money buys you happiness. No, it don't. Money does not buy you happiness. <laughs> I'm I'm jealous of you. Money does not buy you happiness. That's what the sick people do. Will I still do it? There's a pos. I'm I'm like fifty percent. Cause like if they if you just alright so say I spend like a hundred thousand dollars hundred thousand people die. That's a lot. That is a lot. I'm just saying I'm I feel like I'm good where I where I'm at even though I'm broke, but I don't really care. Like I don't care for money. I know like, what you I mean. I want money, but not like I don't need a hundred million dollars right now. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Dang, and plus, cause um, what's it called? And it could be like a person I know too. What if it's me? Yeah, nah, never mind. I'm not taking that risk. (laughs) I'll be broke. I'll be broke, people. Freaking, um... Oh, I got another question. What game do you think you can win if you had infinite lives? Squid Game, Circle, or Hunger Games? If I had infinite lives? Yeah, so like, say you die in it, you come back to life. And you can... All the games, then. 
if I have infinite life, think I'm, about it though. Infinite life, I'm not gonna die. If you play the Hunger Games over and over again, you might not win as soon as you die. Like say, like oh, so when I die, I have to restart the game. Yeah, oh, it's not like you come back to the thing. <laughs> what would you say? I think I'm doing Hunger Games. I ain't gonna lie. If I know I'm gonna, die, uh, I can come back. I'm just going ham until one time. Maybe I'll just, you know. But that's what I'm saying about all the games. Like I could go to Hunger Games. I mean, but like you could do the circle, and you like you know like how the game is because like you know when you go into the circle. All right, people, let me explain the circle. So the circle is like when people get abducted by aliens and like they're playing, they're, they're all standing in a room and they have to vote each other like who dies and they don't know like... For each round. Yeah, for each round. So like you could tell people like what the game is about. It's not like it's the same exact people, it's different people. So you can tell the people what the game is about, but that don't mean they're going to believe you. They might die. So you're going to have to convince those people and do you think you can like win? Could, yeah, like you could keep getting killed off. Yeah, you could keep getting killed off. Mm. And like a continuous loop. Like you might win. Like, you could, yeah, you could obviously win if you don't, if you could come back to life. But, like, you could be playing that game forever. <laughs> like I think might about, do um, Squid Games. Oh, you think so? Yeah, because I feel like some of it was based off strategy besides that that last one where they had to stand on, like, the window and keep hopping. And yeah. if it breaks, then you fall. So, I think I got Squid Games. I think I'm going to do Hunger Games. I think I could survive. Or, like, a couple of times, like... All right, you know what? I'm a, like the first couple of times I'm just gonna go out swinging, just cause, just cause, and then I'm gonna learn like, okay, this is like the little strategies, like mm-hmm. oh, and like, and plus you gotta go through the whole process over again. What for Hunger Games? Yeah. But all right, so the people you know, the people who controlled the Hunger Games, do they know that you keep going back, or like it's nah. new people? No, nobody knows that you keep reviving. It's just you. It's just you. They know. Mm-hmm. So just say you die, you just wake up like the next day. <gasps> I'm so doing Squid Games. Squid, Squid Games look a little easy. Was it hard? What were some of the games I was in? Because, you know, I never watched it. It was... Well, one of them, I remember it was like the licking of the that cookie. Yeah, what was that and about? They had, to, they had to peel it or like crack it off without cracking the shape. So there was different shapes. Like, you had to stand in front of the shape when you got into the room. Yeah. And the shape that you stand in front of was the cookie you got. So if you break the cookie, you die. Yeah. So like you had to peel the cookie perfectly, like you know those little stamp thingies yeah, when you're yeah, making yeah. cookies. It was like that, but hard. Oh. So people were like licking around it, so like the outside could get hard. I mm-hmm. mean soft, and then they peeled it. Mm. But some people were at the end, and right there, just cracked. They were dead. Oh, so if, so any crack, it just it's over. Any crack, like it can't even be a little crack. What the hell? No. They was cheating though. One of them had like a lighter and mm-hmm. it was burning around it. <laughs> That's kind of smart. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, you gotta survive. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. You're right. How many rounds was in Squid Games? Was it a lot? I forgot. But yeah, it was low key a lot. Damn. The lot. La- I think the hardest one was that little glass one where they had to keep popping. Like you don't know which one is. It's gonna fall. Oh, yeah. dang. So you might be on there for a minute. Mm hmm. <laughs> like you could. I'm letting other people go first. Oh, okay, okay. Oh man, bro. See, imagine those game shows. I think I talked before. Imagine those game shows are like real life. Like people get kidnapped and they gotta go on them game shows. I feel like there is one like game show that people be getting kidnapped and disappear. They go on a game show to like get their life back. Like on the like on the dark web. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think so too. I wouldn't be surprised. They they do be saying the rich people be stealing the poor. To sure. the to homeless hunt them. people. Yeah, the homeless people. You never know, and like freaking like maybe in other countries and shit hey maybe the people that be making our clothes is like kidnap kids like imagine like shit like this like I nike feel like factories some people are like abused to make our clothes like they're like stuck in a in a place making clothes right now oh like uh like like the sweatshops or you mean like trapped in there no like trapped oh shit never mind <laughs> <laughs> there was oh there was this thing on sheen well going around on tiktok is probably a lie yeah but it was like the it was saying help on like the little tags of the sheen clothes yeah like not like on like writing it was like you know the letter mm-hmm. yeah it was like that you you think that's f- wait so it was like on the back of the things mm-hmm. on the little tags it said like help are you serious and people were peeping it but i don't know if it's a lie or not you know how tiktok be that Loki, that Loki might be real though like just imagine like somebody's trapped in there that's like their sign that's their way of like um 
freaking get into the public to like notice them it can be too because like there, it wasn't writing so you know like the people on tiktok didn't write it mm-hmm. and if they spent that much time printing and sealing on a a tag for a shirt that's od i know that's what i'm saying i don't think nobody will go out their way to do that that's what i'm saying yeah. that's weird because like i heard like i heard there was a guy i don't i think this was fake there was like a guy that was trapped in like a like a, a fortune cookie like warehouse and like he would write on the little fortunes like like help me help me help me and he would just send them out i'm just like just imagine that's you what are you supposed to do with a fortune cookie though? Like that's what I'm saying. Like there's no address on it, so it's just like you're just gonna like. A we don't fortune... know where the fortune cookie came. That's from. That's what I'm saying. There's no like fortune cookie. It's not the the company that makes it. It's not on the thing. Right. Like that's creepy, bro. Like I be thinking there's like this billboard on um on 22 that I be driving by and it like it's like it has a light. The lights are on, but like it flickers in a weird way that looks like somebody's like doing like Morse code. And I be thinking like, yo, what somebody's just like every time I drive by, I be like, yo, what somebody's just like. I peep trapped. the same thing when we pass by. It's like on that little turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that should be creeping me. I'm like, um, we need to learn Morris code. That's what I'm saying, bro. But, but like you know, I I want to talk about this, right? Because that leads into like what I'm talking about with the. There's a thing called the Charlie Project. It was like a. It's like a whole documentation about um missing people mm-hmm. and missing children. So it has like a list of them, and like there's like a bunch of them. So. Back in the days, I think it was like in the 1950s, right? There was a lady. Her name was, I think, Georgia, Georgia something, like Georgia Stern, I think. I think, well, her name, we'll call her Georgia. Her name is Georgia. So she, she runs an orphan, she ran an orphanage in Memphis, Tennessee. And like, you know, she takes home like orphans and like gives them to people. But like, you know, you're not supposed to sell the kids. Mm -hmm. You just pay the orphanage for like their services and stuff like that. So it's only like $7. But she found out that like rich people would pay money to like like lots of money to buy these kids so she made her own like black market like selling kids and she sold kids to people in california and new york like she'll go there and give them these kids and she'll get make a profit off of it but she used to like this shit is crazy like she used to kidnap like she's not kidnapped she used to go to like um poor uh single mothers and she used to manipulate them and be like you know, you know the government's gonna come take your kid. Look how you live, and like, do you want your kid to live like this? If you come, if you let her live with me in our home, we'll give her a new family to live with. And she's just manipulating all these people, and they're taking her kids and selling them. And then I think she, um, what else happened? And then she started going into like little daycares, right? And like she'll dress up as like welfare agents, and like she would take the kids and mm-hmm. be like, oh yeah were taken from these parents and the parents will come back to the the little because they're all infants so they come back and see their babies gone and then and the people tell them like oh this is welfare agents and like the worst part is that they used to go into um she would go like she has this is a whole operation so she got people under i heard she had a judge on her side like working for her so people like are sick. that's what i'm saying she had a judge and then she would go into like hospitals like and disguise herself as a nurse and with other people around her and stuff like that. And they would go to like newborn babies, like people who just give them birth and be like, oh, we have to do operations on your child. And she would take the child and tell the parents that the, ch- the child died. <gasps> yes. She would tell them their child died and she would go and sell them to people. Sell them That's to rich crazy. people. crazy. Yes. And then um, I think a rich, a rich person, like a donor donated uh, a house like a big ass mansion in memphis for her to like do this operations and stuff and the people that was working it was all women and they all were white but they was all like drugged up women so like they weren't nurses and nothing like that they didn't have no medical background no phds none of that they were just a bunch of drug addict women and they would just be it's like a sweatshop of kids and like the, the kids that wouldn't be sold to people that people didn't want them they would let them starve and, and then die and just let them die just let them die and they'll either bury them in the backyard and stuff like that or they'll just just like dispose of them and like she was the cause of like the infant mortality rate in tennessee to be the highest in the states the united states it was because of her because this is a she, real story yes That's like she cool. killed probably like probably almost 500 kids died just imagine how many she, she sold and she didn't even get trial for it because three days before trial she died of cancer so what she, the fuck? so she literally just I want to know her motive for it like why just for money that bread just imagine how much she's selling to only rich people just imagine how much they get for a kid just think about it. California and New York you know how many kids is like with their parents that's not their parents and they don't know about it and they probably don't even know about it it could be me 
Think about it. My dad's six six. My grandfather is five ten. Yeah, but you look like your dad. I know, but my dad don't look like my grandfather that I remember. Hey, pops. <laughs> nah, he's from the south though. Wait, I think he's from the south. So oh, we good. Okay. We good. But just yeah, think yeah. about it. That's sick. Going into a hospital and telling these people, "Oh, your baby died," and then selling the kids. But are the are the people she's selling to like the rich people she's selling to like bad people like? No, they just these kids, or they just want to buy. A they just kid. want they just want a baby, but she lied to them saying you have to buy you have to pay a, pro- a profit because this is back in the days where there's like I think it's like in the fifties, so like they really wow. don't know too much about like what the rules are because there's yeah, no technology say, and shit. Right now, that's so stupid. Like that's so messed up. That's crazy. And she got off easy. She had she a died. whole. Honestly, she had a whole judge on her side, so she probably would have beat the case if she like like if you have a judge, that's that's game over. You literally can't well, go to prison. But what if that judge wasn't the judge that was on trial? I feel like she can pull strings. That's true. She knew a strings. lot of people. You know what I'm saying? As long, if you get if you have a judge and some cops, that's probably what she had. Easy, just just jipping kids, bro. Because the other judge could have just corrupted the other one, paid her off some money. That's what I'm people saying. People are sick. I don't I don't know, bro. Like free freedom, kids, bro. <laughs> Freedom, that's all I could say, bro. Freedom kids, man. I could be I could I could be one of them orphans. My dad be thinking I'm not his son. <laughs> to, to, it's cause I'm light skinned, he he brown skinned. He be hating on me because I got hair and he bald headed. I hope he hears this. Mm-mm. Happy Father's Day, by the way. He wasn't bald headed before. He had some long dreads. Well, let me tell you the story of why he had why he got dreads. What? Alright, so my dad my dad had some nice ways back in the day. <laughs> Your mom's gonna tell you. About I know this. she is. Dad, I'm sorry, but this is funny. <laughs> So my dad had some nice waves back in the day. Nice crisp hairline. Waves? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like uh, in college. So he had a nice haircut. But he had a flat top too. That was in the days, I think in the 90s when flat top was a thing. Yeah, everybody had a flat top. I'm, I'm going to talk about the hairstyles going after this. <laughs> so so my dad, I guess he um he went, he went used to go get his haircut. I think he went to a new barber. The one in, Remember there was a barber shop in Newport mm-hmm. where the Panera Bread used to be? Panera Bread is? Yeah. Yeah, so he, he went there. And I guess they pushed his hairline back. And he was like, he never trusted a barber ever again. And like, he would just grow his hair out. And then my auntie Trish would twist it. And then it turned into dreads. And then when his dreads started falling out, then that's when he cut his hair down. But he didn't even go bald. He just had like a, a really low cut. Mm-hmm. Like freaking, like how Al Horford was. You know how, you know Al Horford on the Celtics? You know how I'd be making fun of him, the big dude? No. If I show you a picture, you know what I'm talking about. But he got like, his hair looked like, like this. It's like mad low, but he has, he has a hairline. Mm-hmm. So like that's how that's how he was. And then recently during COVID, that's when he went bald. Like he, it was his like choice. What to get a hairline? To, no, to go bald. Uh, we kind of like bullied him into doing it. <laughs> Not really bullied, but just like come on, D. Like, like my, cause um, it was during COVID, and his his um one of his friends from his childhood is a barber, so he would um come and cut our hair, and he'd be like, come on, D, just 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 cut it all off. So bro. I met him when he had hair. Yeah. I don't remember that. It was it's very thin. What the heck? <laughs> it's very thin hair. You probably don't even recognize it. He had a little hairline. Really but you didn't see my dad that. as much before that. I know, but I I saw him before COVID though. Yeah, but you probably saw him like twice. So you probably wouldn't remember. Not twice before COVID. COVID was You went to my house one time and then you went COVID for my birthday. Two thousand what, nineteen? Twenty twenty. Oh. Yeah, so we were Oh, Wait. Cause you was in school. You only been to my. You went my house like a couple times. Mm. All right. Sorry, Dad. She's hiking on you. No, I'm not. I really <laughs> just wanted to know. Like I never seen it. Yeah, he just had a little little faint hairline. All right, you crop this out. Does it grow back? What? And he just keeps like shaving it. Uh, I think so. Oh, okay. He said, I'm, "I'm keeping this in there." No. <laughs> <laughs> I really I'm, wanted to know. I don't know. We, we used to they used to make fun of they used to tell him like you'll get Bosley, the little uh, hair replacement surgery. Oh, uh, maybe hey, if I go bald, I wouldn't be mad. Like Dub from um, he got with that. DDG. He got hair replacement surgery. He got some, yeah, I think so. Cause he was bald too. They used to make fun of his hair all the time. What? Cause he was bald. Yeah, cause he was like, I think it was patchy or something, and he got like new hair. So he got he has like a low cut now. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh. I always thought he was bald. Maybe just because he's like mad dark. <laughs> his 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 son is hilarious. No, I love his. What's name. his name again? Wu Wop. What's his real name? I don't know. Does anybody know what his real name is? Why is his name? Why they call him Wu Wop? I don't know. What the hell? 
Yeah. He looked like a little. He looked like a little person. Like he looked like a midget. And he's so smart for his age. How old is he? I don't know, but I know he's young. Like he be looking. He remind me of um. You ever watch Aliens in the in the attic? It was like a movie with the. Uh, it was like a bunch of little aliens. It was like little this big, and it was it was like a kids movie, and it was like an alien that looked just like him. <laughs> it had me crying. But um, oh, speaking of aliens, right? So I got a thing. I was thinking about this the other day, right? So like. What if we lived on Mars, like our ancestors lived on Mars? Because, like, you know how they say Mars is, like, the closest planet to us? Like, they mm-hmm. used to have water on it and shit like that. So, like, what if we lived on Mars, right? But, like, what we're doing to the Earth now is what we did to Mars back then. And, like, we messed it all up. Like, like beyond repair. It's not, you can't live on no more. But we came to Earth. And that's what, and the comet that killed the dinosaurs was actually a spaceship that had, that like, brought us. that brought us there. Just Im- tough. Like, just imagine that, because like I be thinking like, like okay, a, a, a rock. <laughs> you thinking about it? Yeah. Because like I mean, so think about it, right? Because Mars supposedly Mars, and like think about like they be seeing like some. I guess recently the 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 rover found like a um they seen like a a, a image on the rover like it looked like a person, and they thinking it's like a Martian. But what if the Martians is just like humans like imagine it was like a zombie apocalypse or something and we just left them there where we left them on mars like it was like those are the humans that were left that weren't be able that weren't able to get on the spaceship and they just like survived off the land or something like that yeah that sucks (laughs) (laughs) that's like that sucks that sucks freedom humans bro imagine they probably living better than us up there i don't know they they die they got nothing i had they i don't know i want to be on that rover (laughs) Like a mad, like I think, they said they got they have like some they have there's water on Mars. I don't think the atmosphere is good. Like, you ever watch that movie The Martian? There was a movie where like it was like Mark was it Mark Wall? No, nah, not Mark Wall, but some some guy, famous actor. He he went on Mars and I guess he had to live there. Like he learned how to live. It's a really good movie. Like he learned how to live on Mars. Like he was an astronaut. He was studying and like he didn't like he learned how to grow food on Mars. And I then, used to want to be an astronaut. I, you crazy as hell. I would never do that shit. You got me. I would never. Because I'll be on the spaceship that blows up. I tell you this all the time. I would rather. I'm not doing that. Why? It sounds fun. I'm most, I get motion sickness from being in a car. <laughs> you think, imagine being me, me being on a spaceship. You know that no, little. For real. You know that little, that little thing that they, they put you in to get. The simulator? I'm that, not doing no, that shit. No, I would no. fail. Yeah, no. Y'all people that want to be astronauts, y'all crazy. Y'all not going to be get picked. I can't deal with that. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm the one that's going to kill y'all dreams. Don't be an astronaut. I'm trying to save y'all life. They're and trying to save our lives. Be an astronaut. What they doing? They're trying to see if there's other livable spaces. Man, I heard that, I heard like Saturn has a moon that's just like Earth. Like they found water on it. And like in the water is like, I don't know how the fuck they know this shit. Like they said they found water and it's like the atmosphere. There's like chemicals in the atmosphere that we had back in like like millions of years ago. So they think like that planet like over time will turn into like our planet and they said they're gonna go send a rover there in like 2035 i think what if we did by then that's what i'm saying bro you never know freaking like but yeah people don't be an astronaut bro you, Nah, be an astronaut what are they saving us from other things i'm telling you those are the people who try to see if there's other livable spaces we're about to this world about to come to an end man we, we need a new New Earth. Let's just go live on the moon, bro. Because we've never uh, been there. Moon is deed. We've never been there. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I seen another thing before. Like, you know, you know Neil Armstrong, right? Mm-hmm. You know what Neil, like, so Neil Armstrong backwards, like Neil A is alien? Neil. Mm. So there's, that's why <laughs> people be saying that's why the moon is, nobody went to the moon. There's really aliens on the moon. Like that's like Neil Armstrong was like cold. If nobody war. went to the moon, how do they know there's aliens on the moon? Maybe the aliens came down and told us that. Somebody would have captured an alien. I think somebody has one in their basement. <laughs> somebody in West Virginia. Why West Virginia? Because West Virginia is very weird and rugged. I feel like there's a lot of weird people that live in West Virginia. Ooh, I want a cookie. These are low key good. You had one already? Yeah. Yo, eating this cookie, people. I, sorry, my audio listeners, we eating chips Ahoy cookies with Hershey's in them. And I got this Poland Springs triple berry. Once you eat this and this, it tastes like fruity pebbles. He be making stuff up. I swear. <laughs> I swear. Hold on. 
Mm-hmm. Put my pebble too. <laughs> Whoever drinks while they still have food in their mouth is so nasty. What? You have to swallow your food and then drink. No. Yes. No. Yeah. Huh. This is what this is what brings the food down to your esophagus. Yo. This is how you wash your mouth out. That is so mushy. Ew. That's so nasty. You know? <laughs> are you serious? You don't yeah, do that? No. I eat my food, swallow it, and then drink Mm-mm. so it can go down my throat. Hell no! You 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 were never a fat kid. Oh. <laughs> when I was a kid, man. Shit, when I used to get my uh, my cheese doodles, I used to put like two cheese doodles in my mouth that had some juice, put it in my mouth and just yeah, drink nah. that and it just I just feel like the, the juice like go through the go through the what's it called? That was great, bro. That was Swallow. great. And then drink. No. You gotta do it all simultaneously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like nasty texture. No, it's not the texture, it's about the taste, the flavors in your mouth. That's why I didn't. I couldn't understand why people drink. Well, I, like when I was fat, bro. Oh my god, people! If y'all don't know, I, I, <laughs> people. If y'all don't know, bro, I used to be a big kid. I ain't gonna lie. When I was younger, probably I was like, what? How old was I? I think I started losing weight when I was like in high school. Nah, when I was like in middle school, when I started playing basketball, I was a big kid. Probably uh, like I used to. I used to be like overweight and shit. Oh my god, I don't know. My my cousin Brandon, he used to drink water with everything. I didn't understand it. Water is the best. I used to be like, yo, you freaking nasty. How you (laughs) I'm like I'm like, yo, he he eating pizza and drinking water. I'm like, yo, that's (laughs) like yo, that's a mess that's some bad flavors. Like you can't like if you you need you need two flavors in your mouth. No. Pause. That was crazy. (laughs) Like say you eat pizza, right? You need soda to like make like a, a new mixture. No, I was like that when I was little. I liked um Soda with like wings, pizza, yeah, stuff like that. But I still wouldn't drink it together. Like I wouldn't put a pizza bite in my mouth and then drink the soda. I'm gonna swallow it and then have you some crazy as hell. Maybe because I was just trying to eat. I used to eat fast. <laughs> like I swear. Like I used to. Like I. I still be watching that. I be watching um competitive eaters eat. Oh my god! Like I watch a lot of weird shit, bro. Like I used to watch. Like I used to. Like, I used to be like that when I was a kid. I used to just be munching. Oh my! I used to have cheese doodles. <laughs> And some and a and a little uh, quarter waters. Oh, Ooh, I like those. The orange there are one. Quarter waters. I didn't call them that. What do you call them? Quarter drinks. Quarter, quarter drinks. Co- that's how you call it. They. Say, I know people drink. call them grenades. Cold drink. I think it's. I don't even know what I call. I just. Oh no, I call them jugs. Cause that, jugs. I, think, I think that was the name of the thing. It was jugs. But like people call it quarter waters, like in the in like Irvington. I just call it twenty five cent drink. <laughs> <laughs> I think, but I used to I used to get that. I used to get that, some cheese doodles from the corner store right across the street from my house in Jersey City by NJCU. And oh my God, that used to be the best. Every, every day. Just, I used to just sit there, eat my cheese doodles like this. <laughs> I wonder if they still sell the um, quarter waters. Oh yeah, they definitely do. I'd be seeing them in the shop, right? Really? Mm-hmm. They come in packs. Mm. Al used to sell them. Who? Al. Oh, rest in rest peace, in Al, peace. man. Rest in peace, my guy. I know, right? We'll be going to this crib. Dang. We would be going to the shop all the time. Mm-hmm. Now there's no corner store. I know. We got to go freaking down a goddamn street, bro. Man. Rest in peace, Al, and his wife. <gasps> she died? When? Like a few after him. Oh, really? Of COVID, too? I don't know. Oh, that's so sad. I don't know. There's a piece of That's people. why I think, well, I don't know if they were going to close it. She was going to close it regardless, but I think she was still running it after he passed away. I don't know. Oh. I think she died like probably a week or two after him. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I think. Poor Al, man. But, ah, that's, I'm getting a little sad. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so would you rather all rats and rodents be smarter than humans or all bugs in the world be our natural enemy? Rats and rodents be smarter than humans. Ew, mm. I had a lisp. I said <laughs> humans. <laughs> <sighs> oh. I think I would choose that too because just imagine you walk outside and you just get attacked by a bunch yeah, of mosquitoes. No. I really want to get right with them, but they going to beat me. That's what I'm saying. Like, imagine, like, the, the ants are, like, making a plan just to come in here and just, like, like, just attack you in your sleep. Yeah, there's too many bugs. I don't need them as my enemy. But there's a lot of rats. Like, I heard the no- amount of rats in the world is unknown. That's a lot. <laughs> but just, they not coming after me. 
Yeah, but what if they're smarter than this? And they'd be like, you know what? We're going to take take over the humans. And they start making nuclear weapons. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just imagine. Like, they start time traveling and shit. Rats. I'd be damned to die by a rat. I don't think they could be that smarter than us. Yeah, not that yeah. smarter. Maybe like, maybe like uh, they got uh, PhDs from Harvard. They all got PhDs from Harvard. <laughs> That's how smart they are. All right. They're not all going to be that smart. Probably decently smart. You think we can survive with that, though? You think we can live with that? Hmm. I don't think we could live with bees being our enemy. I know. I think they're just going to continuously just kill us. Because there's so many. Roaches taking over our house. I'd be damned. <laughs> I'd be damned if a roach take over my crib. I'm you can't up. even use the the fly swatter. I know they're just going. They're going to adapt to that shit. Nah, they not. Not no even. Way. They just gonna keep coming after you because now you really the enemy. You trying to kill their family. But I feel like we're gonna find a way to like get around that. Like just make big ass like ha- every home has to have like a big fly like a mosquito zapper whatever that's called. I think you can get around. Keep that. coming. Yeah, uh, I'll take the rodents then. Yeah, I will too. All right, so all right, so which animal would you all right, so but which animal would you erase from the world, but the other animals that you didn't pick would double in population. So it's rats, snakes, roaches, or mosquitoes. Rats, snakes, roaches, or mosquitoes. So if you kill one off, the rest are doubled. Mosquitoes. So we're gonna have doubled rats, snakes, and roaches. Either roaches or mosquitoes, because. I don't see that much snakes, and I don't see that feel, yeah. that many rats. New yeah. York about to be in Oh, yeah. New York going to be up, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> you seen that? I seen a video of, like, a rat getting eaten, eating another rat. Like, it was, like, like one of the rats, like, the body was, like, dead. It was, like, he was, like, so, like, say this is, like, the, um, this is, like, the, the trash can. It was, like, the big dumpsters. The rat was, like, this. And she was, he was, like, squirming around. It's just a shink. Another a big ass rat just just dragged it inside. <laughs> Maybe he was trying to save him. Oh no, I think he about to eat his ass. Ew. Rats in New York is disgusting. Them things is like beavers. <laughs> Them things is beavers without the tail, bro. So imagine that shit doubled. Yeah, I wouldn't care. It's mosquitoes. Just yeah, mosquitoes. I can't. I can't have mosquitoes double. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I can. I can deal with the roaches. Oh my god, roaches are nasty, bro. I can deal with them. What is the point of roaches too? There's no point. They just be there, like move. That's what I'm saying. Just nasty, stink. Like there's some dirty, like there's some dirty creatures in this world that shouldn't be here. Roaches, rats. We don't I mean, need mus- um roaches. What do we need roaches for? I know they don't kill nothing. They just get eaten or just like they just literally just they're just here to live like us. And I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I would still do mosquitoes. Yeah, I, I think I'm picking mosquitoes. Oh my Let's god, get them bro! Things out of here. Imagine you re- imagine you die and reincarnate into a roach. I'll be mad. I'll kill myself. Oh, I'll, you- I'll go to a house so they can stomp me out. Yeah, I think. But I mean, you probably just gonna die in a week though. Roaches die in a week. I don't think they live that long. Oh, probably as long as a fly. Maybe a mosquito. Nah, if I'm a, if I'm if I could reincarnate to one of these animals, I'm gonna be a rat. What the fuck? Why? Because I just feel like rats just like they could be a rat in this crib right now. I won't even know about it. I could, I got a home. I'm be a snake. You want me a snake? Yeah. Why'd I say a rat? Why did I pick snake? <laughs> Snakes is out in the wilderness. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick Just snake. I'm chilling. weird as fuck. <laughs> I said rat. Why am I? I'm tweaking. <laughs> you want it to be different so bad. I don't know, bro. But do you believe in reincarnation? I be talking about this a lot in the podcast. Like, I think we die and reincarnate to other people. I don't think we reincarnate to animals. You don't think so? Like, you don't think, uh, like somebody could re- somebody like Juju was reincarnated to somebody. If he was, he was a he was a freaking mental patient. He was bad. Yeah, he was a bad kid. But like there was like I think this is what I think. I feel like whatever you believe in, that's what happens to you. So if you believe in heaven, you go to heaven. If you believe in reincarnation, you reincarnate. I don't want to reincarnate. Take me to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> but like there was a story, right? So I guess there was a lady whose brother, right? Her brother name is Craig, and he died in a car accident. And I guess five five years later, she had a child, and her name his name was Noah, and she believes that her son is like a reincarnation of her brother. So the first instance, like the first ever instance where she believed it, was I think he was three. So Noah has like a like a speech impediment, so he really can't speak that well. Mm-hmm. So he goes up to his mom, like they're in the car driving, and she's like, he's like, damn it, Hanny, just pull over, something like that. And then his mom like turned around, and looked like, what'd you call me? He's like. Your name's Handy, and the only person that ever called her that was her brother. Oh. 
and she was like, and then her even her sister was like, why who you calling Haney? She was like, mom, that's her name, Haney. And then I guess, and then when he turned four, he was at they they all went to like a family dinner and stuff like that, and he was at the table and like he was like talking about like, oh, yeah, I died here, and like this is how I died, like I died in a car crash, and that's exactly how Craig died in a car crash, and he swerved off. And then the last one was when he was four again and his grandmother, they, he slept over, Noah slept over his grandmother's house. And he was like, Grandma, I can't sleep without Froggy. Like, I need Froggy so I can go to sleep. And Froggy was Craig's favorite toy and nobody knew about it. Like, he never, like, uh, Noah never, like, asked for Froggy or he never even seen what Froggy looked like, but he mm-hmm. asked about it. So, like, she thinks, like, her brother is, like, reincarnated into her son. That's so cute. I know. Like, I feel like they... They won't reincarnate into an animal, but, like, they send animals to, like, give you signs. Oh, like, um... Like, let's say, for instance, like, with my family, my grandma, they think, um... Let's say butterflies. They like butterflies, so they think, like, if there's a butterfly by them, like, that's a sign from her, like, she's okay, blah, 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 stuff Mm -hmm. like that. My dad used to tell me, like, like, they would, like, like, touch me on my shoulder. I used to get scared. I used to be like, mm, I don't play that. I'm like, like I remember, like I'm like. When did you find out like what like about heaven? I don't remember. I, I think I was just a you know, smart little kid. <laughs> <laughs> I I remember exactly when I found out. I was, I think I was I was eight. I remember I was in my parents' room and I was like, I think I just finished watching the Rugrats movie and I was like, and like you remember in the movie where she was like, he was like, Chucky's mom went to heaven. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't know what that was, so I was like, I was like, Dad, what's heaven? And that then, sounds like something out of a movie. I told you my life of a movie. <laughs> it really is. But he was like, I was like, what's heaven? And he just explained it to me. And then I'm just like, huh. And I'm just thinking, like, I don't know why I remember that so well. I feel like you remember, like, you know how some people don't remember stuff from their childhood? Yeah. Some people remember, like, the dramatic moments of their childhood. Oh, yeah. Like, I remember a lot of dramatic moments in my childhood. Me too. When my parents went... Said I was going to a princess concert and they took me to a WWE concert. Oh yeah, let, let, let's bash our parents because I got a lot of stuff. Let's tell them <laughs> about that story. Well, my parents gave me two tickets to Cinderella on Ice. <laughs> I was like young too, like I don't even know how I remember this, but I was probably traumatized. <laughs> and, and we went to, I think it was at the Eyes Out Center, and we went there. I walked in and it was a whole like they didn't even tell me like when we were like outside of it, like they waited till I saw a ring. <laughs> the ring and people fighting in the ring like that's evil i ain't gonna lie because that because wrestling get crazy exactly i probably walked in like the undertaker or some shit that's what i'm saying like wrestling like wrestling not how it used to be anymore though they used to have blood and then i remember there was a some nick holy there's a guy named nick holyfield he got hit in the face with a barbed wire bat and his face was like bleeding I love that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like it's cringe, more cringe now. Oh, hell yeah. I feel like they tried too hard. Yeah. Before, I really thought... It, but maybe it's because we're older, though. That's true. But, like, there was a lot of... But they, they be old adults still, like, wrestling nowadays. Y'all weird as hell. But I think all the stuff now is cringe. Like, the Disney shows that they coming up with now, cringe. Wait, which one? Every show. Like, that freaking... um, I forgot what it's called. There's, like, some... I was about to talk about some shit about Nickelodeon shows, but I'm going to get canceled. I'm going to talk Whoa. about it afterwards. <laughs> Shout out to the LGBTQ community, man. That, I ain't know. I love that. I love them people. What is it called? It's like with some boy he has like power. Henry Danger? Yes. That's so cringy. <laughs> that's so cringy. Like they don't, they, they they don't make, built the same. They ain't make it like uh, how iCarly or Jesse or Sweet Life is acting. Nah, they not iCarly like that, no. cringe though. Okay. It, it was good though. It got cringe yeah. towards the end. In the beginning, it wasn't bad. Sweet Life is Zach and Cody. That was indi- Sweet Life is Zach and Cody. They don't make it like that. They don't make it like that they used to. That's a Raven. Buzz mm-hmm. Light, you're not going to be cringe. What oh, you talking no, about? We watching not. that shit. We are. We are. What you talking about? I'm, I'm going to my Buzz costume. I thought he was going to be Woody. Woody's not even in there. So what am I going to be? Oh, I want to be that. that. You're going to leave me hanging? I just dapped you we gonna, up. We're going to dap again. We didn't do the regular dap. What's that guy name? <laughs> The, the, the bad guy that's like a fake Darth Vader. Oh, no. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. He was like, Buzz, I am your father. It's like a fake ass Darth Vader shit. If I see him, I'll probably remember, but uh-huh. I would be Buzz. You could be Darth Vader. 
<laughs> Motherfucker. But, oh, let me tell you about my experience. As soon as we're talking about mm-hmm. terrible experiences. So, I remember I was like four years old, man. My dad would my dad would say like he didn't lock the door on me. He locked the door on me. Oh. So, so I'm four years old, right? Mom, uh, I, I don't think I'm in school yet. I didn't go to preschool. So, my dad's about to drop me off at my Wawa's house. My Wawa's my grandma, people. I'm Filipino. I had a list back in the day. So, it's supposed to be Lola, but it's Wawa. But, so... So, like, I'm sleeping, right? So, he just picks me up and puts me in the car. Like, I'm still sleeping. And I wake up. I'm in an empty car. I'm looking around. I'm like, okay. I try to open the door. It's locked. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo. And, like, just imagine you a kid. You just wake up in a car. Mm-hmm. So, I'm just like, it's not. I'm like, I'm screaming. I'm banging on the door. I'm like, help. 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 <laughs> you could have got CPS called. That's what, yo, I was, I was honking the horn and everything. <laughs> It took my dad. I felt like it was like 20 minutes. My dad said it was like 30 seconds. I swear I was banging on that shit for mad long. He was like, what? What? I'm like, you left me in here, man. He was probably trying to keep you safe locking it, though. Like, so nobody would go in and kidnap you. Why did he leave me in the first place? He probably wanted to talk to his friend. I think that's what happened. <laughs> Yo, though. And then I, I remember I used to I used to throw. I used to throw. <laughs> I was a bad kid. I used to ambush my whoa, whoa. Like, cause you, you've been to my, did you been to my Wawa's house before? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, the staircase. Yeah. So I used to be at the top of the staircase. You know, I was like a little hallway. Yeah. I used to wait till he walked past. I'd be like, hey, bush, and throw hella dinosaur toys at him. Oh. He used to get mad. I know it hurt Yeah, too. it was a, it was a hard plastic dinosaur toys, man. They don't even use them shits no more. Mm-mm. It was fun though. He was a bad kid. He was a bad kid too. He used to fight <laughs> your brother all the time. That's how sister and brother relationship should be. I didn't fight Libby. She used to just get caught in the crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> like I used to I used to be fighting With Brandon or Samar And them And then Libby would just be there And then I, I like Knock her off the bed And then mm-hmm. she start crying And, and then I, you get aired out By your dad I know right I didn't do nothing That was freaking Brandon That did it <laughs> Like I used to Oh my god I remember me and my Me and my cousins Y'all didn't have a childhood If y'all Y'all, watch, y'all didn't have a childhood If y'all didn't watch wrestling And did the moves On your cousins That's a true thing They think that like People be saying that All the time Like that's a meme That's a real life like, No that is real life Like I used to Like there's a move called the Code Breaker that Chris Jericho used to do. I used to do, I used to do that shit on my cousin. You could really, you could break somebody's hip like that. I ain't gonna lie, like that was not for like you. My brother used to do moves on me. Like what? Everything. The STFU. He did. He did. I don't know what he used to do. <laughs> he was the rag doll. Mm-hmm. I was dead. I was never the rag doll. I was always the big one. Cause I was fat. They couldn't pick me up. I was too big. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't pick my ass up. Shit. I used to do all that shit. I remember we was at my Wawa's house and we we broke that that couch by the way. They still use it. We used to jump on that shit. We used to wrestle. And I was like, STFU. And I threw brain on thing. My mom was STFU. Yeah. And then I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> so then my mom was like, Darren, what'd you say? I said, I'm like, STFU. She's like, get over here. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> that was That's bad. Funny. Oh my oh my God. I just remember something. I remember I used to have this guitar, right? <laughs> I don't think I ever told you this story. I had this, this is Matt Brandon. I had this guitar because it reminded me of Brandon. So me and Brandon used to pretend we're rock stars. So like I would go first and then he'll go second. So I'm like, yeah. So then he started doing it and he said, yeah, doom, and broke my guitar. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, what the fuck? I was so mad. I'm like, I started crying. I'm like, yo, he it like, was a real guitar. Yes. <laughs> like he did. Like you know how rock stars break the guitars. He said, I seen this before. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> And he broke the shit. I was like, no. I'm like, no way, bro. Like, we just got this guitar. You just went and just destroyed it. And, like, he had to go sit and time out. We didn't get whoopings. We just get go sit in the corner and just go look in the corner. <laughs> that used to be funny, bro. I didn't get whoopings. I only got one whooping my whole life. What was your punishment then? When I used to get in trouble. My mom... Well, like, if I was old enough and I had a phone already, she used to take it with my phone. Yeah. But... I don't know. Like, I don't remember if I was little. I, used, I never used to get in trouble. Like, I don't know if I was put on timeout. I used to get fake in trouble. Like, I remember I, used, I got trouble in um in grammar school. What, what school you went to? Grammar school? Yeah, what number was it? 37. I think I was 36. Or 38. Yeah. I was PS 38. Cordero. You already know the vibe. Shout out my Cordero heads. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, I remember I got in trouble, right? I was in aftercare. And we was playing. We was just sitting around, and like you know, you know what? You, you remember that song? It's like I believe I could fly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like there was like there was like a parody to it where it was like it's like I got it's like you have to say somebody's name and be like they got shot by the FBI. So they said my name, and I got mad and I bit the kid. 
what the? I've been on the it arm. Was a biter. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. It was just like first instinct. I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the teacher see me. She's like, Darius, go upstairs. I went to the principal office. <laughs> I remember it wasn't even principal office. I think it was just like another teacher who was doing detentions, mm-hmm. and I was up there and like, I mean, people, if you don't know what grammar school is, it's basically just like uh, middle school and like it was like middle. It's K through eight, so kindergarten through eighth grade. So I'm in there. It's like a bunch of like older kids, and they look bad as hell. I'm just in there like this, like. Like, I just want to go home. <laughs> I'm, like, in first grade. I'm, like, crying and shit. I just Aww. bit some guy. I think my, my dad going to kick my ass. Freaking my auntie, I picked me up. I'm like, are you going to tell my dad? <laughs> it was so bad. And then I got in trouble one time for running down the hallway. From your parents or, like? No, I was in school? aftercare. And we was going outside. And I guess we wasn't lined up correctly. So she told us to come back. But there was people, like, you know, there's always, like, somebody that's holding, like, uh, a door holder. So, like, there was two people holding doors. So, I ran and went to go get them. And she was like, why are you running in the hall? Why did you leave? And then, literally, as soon as soon as I get in trouble, the principal come by. He's like, oh, what's going on here? He was like, he's running in the hallway. He said, like, oh, come with me. Brings me to the library. I'm cleaning up the newspapers. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell I do? <laughs> what the hell? I'm like, she's like, yeah, stay here. Go fi- go tidy up these newspapers in was the library. Is she a white, white um, principal? Yeah, it was a white lady. Oh, hell no. She, she looked kind of scary. <laughs> She reminded me of like the little monsters from Monsters Inc., like the little, the tall, stocky one. Like, you ever watched the, the Monsters Inc. movie when they was in college? Mm-hmm. Like, remember that one, the, the lady that was like the headmistress? She yeah, was like, yeah. she liked that. She, that's what I remember. <laughs> Man. I only got in trouble. Well, my parents used to have to come into my middle school every day because I was fighting a kid. I know. But he used to pick on me, and they used to say because he liked me. Like, you know how little people liked each other and they pick on each other? That never happened and- to me. Nobody liked my ass I was too fat And He used to try to pick on me And I wasn't with that And I was serious I used to be hitting him And my parents just had to come into the school What did your parents say? I I wonder what they said I don't even know I wonder Hey They don't even watch the podcast no more (laughs) They stopped watching after episode 20 I don't never I remember She says Zaki's a funny guy (laughs) (laughs) But Oh I got I got another conspiracy Since we were talking about like Going to the past Cause somebody told what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? So, so people talk me, tell me I don't talk about conspiracies like that no more. Cause okay. you know we we kind of evolving, but you know we go back to the roots. Okay. So there's a thing called there was a thing called Project Looking Glass, right? And mm-hmm. it has to deal with like Mandela effect, Mandela effect and all that stuff. So supposedly the elites back in the days found an, art, an ancient artifact in Iraq that was like supposedly could go look into time look into the future and look into the past so what they would do is they used to they would feed it like different possibilities and it was like a computer Mm -hmm. and it was like so like the scientists like rebooted it up and like like refurbished it so it's working now so like the elites would like um put possibilities into it and just like like asking it questions basically and the computer would give it like an outcome and a possible like a percentage of like how that outcome would and the elite started getting like really scared because, like, no matter what possibilities they throw into it, it all, all the outcomes led to this one point in time, and that was in December of 2012. So people think that in December 2012 the world actually did end, right? Mm-hmm. Because, and what there was a there was a um maybe not in December 2012 but something happened during that time. Maybe the world ended. Something shifted. But they say that there was a there's a company called CERN, right? It's like C E R C E R N. It's like a they're like they deal with like quantum physics and things like that. So they supposedly think that the elites in that company made like they knew that was gonna be like the end of our timeline. So they either jumped us into like another timeline because like you know how there's like multiple like realities. Mm-hmm. So they think they were able to like open up a portal and put us in another timeline. And that's why we have, like, all the Mandela effects. But if we're in another timeline, don't we have, like, us in another timeline? Since there's, like, infinite amount of timelines, there could be a timeline where it's just, like, just a slight thing. A little thing might have changed. And they might have, like, destroyed that timeline and just, like, had us sucked into it. Or they could have just built a completely different timeline and just we go into that timeline. That's And there's also people that have proof of, like, that Mandela effect where... They have like videotapes of like back in the days of like the Looney Tunes and like, you know how like the Looney Tunes is part of the Mandela effect? Yeah. Because like, I think it's like they thought it was T-O-O-N-S 
but it's T U N E S. Oh yeah, yeah. But they had there was like videotapes of like somebody with like a flip phone, and it says Looney Tunes, like T O O N S. But like they don't know if that's like a real video or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it could be edited. Mm hmm. But like nobody knows like and like uh, a person that I guess either worked for the company or worked for the elites that that looked that was doing the little project looking looking glass thing. He was he went on like a little show on you. It's on YouTube, and he was just talking about like how they're trying to cover up all the stuff that they did, and they're afraid. Like their biggest fear is that the public is gonna find out all the stuff they covered up. How would they find out? They never know. Maybe maybe that end of the timeline is like is like an outcome where we all figure out the figure out what the government's been hiding to us. Maybe that's what they're scared about, and mm-hmm. it wasn't the end of the world. And that's why they changed our timeline to go to, like, another one so that would never happen. So we'll just keep being, like, whatever they're doing is just a secret. That's tough. That's scary. That is. Because, like, imagine, you, 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 we would never know if, like, we go into, like, a different timeline or if, like, reality shift over. And, like, there's, like, videotapes of, like, the CERN, like, the company CERN. And it's, like, there's, like, people in robes, like, like you know, Illuminati type shit. And they're just, like, surrounding, like, the little building. Look like they're doing a ritual. And who knows? Maybe they change some shit up. We will never know. That's why we just like little guinea pigs. We are. I don't care. We're living in a simulation for real. <sighs> After I know what the Matrix is about, I'm afraid me we might be. We are. I'm telling you. Free, free the real niggas. Free us. I don't think we ought to be free though. Like, I heard there's another thing about to happen like that again too. I think I talked about it on the last podcast. I didn't really explain it though. Like, there was a girl that was in the I think I told you like the there was a girl that was protesting in the French Open and she had a, on her shirt it said there's a 1028 days left and then I guess that like like in time that's like in 2025 and supposedly like like one of the calendars for like I guess like every I think every religion has like a, a apocalypse mm-hmm. like for Greek mythology it's like it's called Ragnarok where like the gods come down and kill everybody the Mayan civilization it was like the calendar ending and I guess it was um I don't know if it's Buddhist so one of the little Indian religions I forgot what it's called it was like the end is in 2025 where like all like you know I guess all of the misery that we've been going through up to that year 2025 just stops so like co- like the misery of COVID how I think we're going to recession now supposedly oh yeah them food prices about yeah to be- food prices going up gas is going up so I guess like 2025 that's when it all stops. And that on that girl's shirt it says we only have a thousand and twenty eight days left. I'm living my life until that day. Hey, I don't know. Maybe the government going. Was she tr- like? Where was this? It was in France, and it, it was, her shirt was in English, so that means she was American, and she went all the way to France just to do that shit. Maybe. What's the point of it though? Like, why? I don't know. Just to warn us. I don't want to know when I die. <laughs> just let it happen. I don't know. Like, I mean, like, what? Like, what if? I'd be thinking, like, what if, like, there's like superheroes and like they save the world, but they just er- they erased our minds, so we don't remember them. Like in like in Spider Man, <laughs> imagine that happen. That'd be tough. That'd be but so I, tough. I'd be pissed. But if I was a superhero, I would want people to know. You want that people? I'm a superhero. Yeah, I would too. But I think Spider Man had to do that shit. Cause literally, freaking in the movie, all the all the worlds was like colliding. Yeah, that shit was crazy. He had no choice. He had no choice to make everybody forget. Hurt my feelings, bro. Oh man, I was Frida. about to cry. I know. I felt bad for him. He did all that goddamn work, and the girls just like, "Who is you again?" Gat. 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 All right. Oh, okay. So now, do you, oh, do you want to talk about anything before I go into my urban legends? No, you could go ahead. You want to talk? You want to talk about the the thing that you've seen on TikTok? I knew you was about to bring that up. Um, Why can't I bring it up? Because we can't. gotta bring awareness. Awareness to these white racist people. Oh God, I wasn't gonna say that, but yes, <laughs> Juneteenth okay. people. Well, you don't know much about it, and I don't either. But there was a girl on TikTok. Well, not TikTok, but they were talking about it on TikTok. How a girl and her boyfriend went tubing, and now he suddenly disappeared. Mm-hmm. So like we, they don't know if he's dead or like a family member of theirs like 
took him and like holding him captive Mm -hmm. but he was going over there to visit to visit her and go to a wedding but they didn't let him in the wedding because of religious reasons which is because he's black Mm -hmm. and so they went tubing and now her story keeps changing up so like the his family even thinks that she took she did something to him or like killed him on purpose or something like that because in the video i was watching he was saying the the sister was saying oh like where did you say it happened again and her first story was that it was on a dock Mm -hmm. and then in the video they were like in like this little area with water it wasn't a dock Mm -hmm. and the sister was like oh but you just told blah 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 that it was at the dock. It was at the dock, and now it's, your story keeps changing. And then the girlfriend started crying, and the sister was like, "Yeah, that guilt gonna eat you up." Blah blah blah. I'm just all right. So they both went tubing together. Oh, and another thing was that they supposedly went tubing with friends, but I think it was just them two. Uh huh. And that's what yeah, that's what she said. What the hell? So how? Nah, she definitely did something because like, how do you not know if you guys went tubing it? Like, what well, y'all went by yourselves? If y'all if if you went missing. During tubing, why don't you just say, like, and it really happened, wouldn't you, like, know where he's at? Because, like, when you, like, we went tubing before. Mm-hmm. And, like, when you go tubing, like, you got to be, like, next to the person. And, like, you connect to each other. So, it's like, you're going to always see them. Yeah. I mean, they were on different tubes. I don't know if they were connected with a rope or, like, you know how we were just, we weren't connected. We yeah. had two different tubes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So but like we were holding each other. Yeah. But, like, if, if he really went missing, he would have just said, like, oh, we went like two separate ways. I didn't. I couldn't see him no more. Mm-hmm. And I think it took her a day to like report it. Oh no! Nah, like they... she didn't report it right away. And there was like a witness, <sighs> a witness called in that. I don't know if it was he or she, but they called saying that they saw something, and that the girlfriend like didn't do anything. She just let him go. Oh hell no, bro! Free that brother, man. God, did y'all don't watch Get Out, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? That's what people were saying. They were like, this is like Get Out. This is literally Get Out, bro. Y'all don't watch that shit. That shit and is real life. On Instagram, there was some some girl saying that he could possibly be like captured by a white man. And like he's captured in somewhere in like a cave or something. Oh, hell Just, no. So he, he kidnapped too? I don't know. And man is saying, somebody saying that the man might be like trying about to torture him because all the stuff going on now and how, yeah. Free that brother, man. He a big guy? Yeah, I think so. I think he played basketball. Damn, bro. Free Oh, man. They definitely going to do get out of his ass. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is big because they were saying like he was like 6'7 or something and he was athletic and he could swim. So, like, there's no way like he would just went down without a struggle because she was saying that she she um got to pull herself up on the dock, but he didn't. Oh, yeah, nah. She it would have been up. It would have been her and um, him really getting up on the dock mm-hmm. if he's strong as hell. Oh, hell. You know, this is definitely a Get Out story. Because you, you know what the whole thing about Get Out was? What? Like, like, so, like, what they did was, like, they took, like, so it was a, it was a, a girl, the girlfriend, and she always dated black guys. And, like, she would bring them to, like, she would bring them to her house, like, in the woods and, like, meet her family. And her family would take the the black guy's brain and put like a white guy's brain like an older guy and like they will switch their brain so like that white guy now has his body mm. a younger body damn that man six eight you said he hoop athletic swim some old oh, free that guy bro i mean he didn't swim as a like he wasn't a swimmer but he could swim like but they he's six that. eight they try to go to the or league six, with seven him. something like that if if he find if i hope he i hope they find him but if they find him they got to check for stitches they got to Lie detector test on him. They gotta ask whatever, re- make him remember anything. Cause that's that's it. Sound like get out for real, bro. Like they literally just not. they cut their heads open, take the brains out, so they switch bodies because like the the white people they go they about to die. Oh, I think I saw that. Yeah, no, no, that that was from we watch. I think that's another movie we watched with yeah. the girls. Which movie was that? It was like it was, I remember we watched that at your house. It was like. It was like girls and like they would have to go up the level and at the level they get like adopted. Yeah, but yeah. really they're just getting their mind swapped mm-hmm. with like older people. It's, it's like that, but with black people. Yeah. <sighs> Man, bro. They just want they just yeah. want what we got. But like Juneteenth people. I think they only were together for like five months. So yeah, that was Oh yeah, for she sure. plotting. Mm-hmm. She plotting on his ass. She didn't even wait a year. I know. She was plotting this whole time. Wait, so so I think I was listening when you was watching it. He went to like LSU somewhere in Louisiana, right? LSUE. So, and 
I think one of Corey's boys went to that school. Tell him not to mess with the white woman. <laughs> and then where was she from again? Idaho. Oh. <gasps> shit, Maddie. Maddie. Oh, I'm not. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jay got a teammate from Idaho. Her name Maddie, bro. Maddie, if you're hearing this, bro, if you know that lady, we coming for you, bro. We coming <laughs> she better for be you. helping search oh, for God. her name, She probably know her. <laughs> send her to Maddie. Send her th- I am. I'm going to th- text her after this. Send her to Maddie. But, hey, people. Since we're talking about the states, we got this the part of the show where we talk about urban legends from, or we talk about urban legends from each state of America. So if you haven't, if you're new to the channel, or if you're new to the series, you know what I'm saying, comment down below your state, and we're gonna choose which states we want to ch- uh, talk about. So this week we actually got two for y'all. So we got two urban legends from the states, and the first one we're gonna talk about is from Louisiana. And it's called it's a it's an urban legend called the Carter Brothers. Supposedly, the Carter Brothers were vampires, right? So back in the 1930s, right, a woman uh, escaped from being kidnapped, and she went to the police, and she told them that she go, she was kidnapped by these two brothers, and they was trying to drink her blood, right? And they were vampires. So the police came over to the it was like a so in louisiana they have like french quarters Mm -hmm. so it's like a little like that's how the the houses are set up so they went to the place and they found like a bunch of people that was tied up and then on her their wrist was like slit open and there was like blood on them and then she was like oh i guess she she was actually telling the truth and then the, the police waited for the brothers to come back and they arrested them and they executed them and so recently so this was in 1930 so during the great so years later during the great depression i think that was like the 40s one of the brother's relatives died. So probably like a, a father or a mother or something like that. And they have like, a, you know, them little big tombstones where like people put bodies in. Like you remember in Ozark, they put the money in it. Mm-hmm. It's like a big like room. Yeah. So that's where it was like a family thing. So that's where the the, the brother's bodies were. When they was putting their um, their relatives in that, in that they, f- they saw that the brother's bodies wasn't there no more. Because, you know, vampires don't die. Yeah, they sound, that sounds like a different version of Vampire Diaries. Are you serious? That's what happened. Well, I don't know. I don't. I haven't watched it in a while, but there was two brothers, Damon and Stephen. I think it was called the brothers' names was John and Wayne, John and Wayne Carter, mm. and supposedly they still around, just lurking throughout Louisiana, just like kidnapping people and drinking their blood and shit. I don't know if I believe in vampires. Ah, <sighs> do I believe in van? I believe there might have been one, maybe one, like Count Dracula. Back in the 1700s, might have been a thing, or it might have been a, just a real, a really bad serial killer that just was like he liked drinking blood, and they just made a story based off of him. Yeah, I believe in a lot of things, but not vampires. Yeah. I used to though. There was um, you know how bats are supposedly like turn into vampires or whatever. Yeah. There used to be a lot of bats around um Ninth Street, which my brother used to play baseball. Uh, baseball in. Yeah. And I used to be in the car at night because I was scared I was gonna get bit. Really? Yeah. There used to be there there'd be a lot of bats over at the park. Like I swear, like during the years where I lived here, like I feel like the animals like changed. Like when I first moved here there was there was cats and then there was bunnies and then there was bats and then there's now there's deer. I'm waiting for the raccoon. Oh no, I seen a fox the other day. Where? That's cool. There's like one or two foxes. He'd be running around here. But like I seen him here and then I seen him at a week wake. So I don't know. Like vampires, there might be one. I, I feel like there's possibilities for anything. I don't know. Maybe he might just live in a cave type shit. But, like, in the Vampire Diaries, they were, like, they would try not... They were, like, good vampires. Stefan was the good vampire at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And he would try not to, like, bite people. Like, they didn't go to bite people unless they saw blood. Yeah. So, I it don't, could be, but I don't believe in it. I don't, like... I feel like there's possibilities for anything. Like, maybe not... Like, there, there's a... This is this is like randomly off topic, but there, there's like a theory that says like, like you know how there's like made up characters, mm-hmm. so like you know how there's infinite universes. Yeah. So technically, all those characters that we see like superheroes, vampires, they may be real in different realities. I mean, I think we do live in a simulation, so I feel like they could just add things. Oh, to the shit. To the, to the simulation, like oh. if they wanted to add like aliens, aliens, they would add it. They oh, just damn, don't want that's to. That's crazy. Yet. They add vampires to this shit. <laughs> it's over. I hope they fight alongside with us. I wouldn't want to be a vampire. I don't want to live forever. What is it? They're immortal. They can't see the sun. They can't. Do they sleep? They drink blood all the time. They're super strong and fast, though. Yeah. But that's the only good thing. 
I feel like they, I feel like they're, they're like one of the asses of the the, the folk, folk, folk <laughs> folklores. They definitely are. They don't do nothing. I feel like a werewolf will beat a vampire ass. I ain't gonna lie. Twilight. Don't do that. A werewolf would kill a vampire easily. Maybe I'm biased because I like the Vampire Diaries. I don't know. But I think it would. Like a werewolf. A werewolf strong as hell. Fast as hell. Got the bite. Big as hell. But vampires are faster. Okay. I still run. I still think werewolf will beat his ass. I do too. Like they strong as shit. They are. And they bite. I feel like if they had to fight each other, it would be werewolf. Mm-hmm. And um, thinking about that, like, like um, maybe in like a village, I feel like like in like third world countries, there might be like a, a village vampire, like th- maybe that's a that's the legend, like someone like Ecuador, living in the jungles in the caves. I think you're right. There's a possibility of anything in this world. Mm-hmm. It just, I want to put a vampire. I want to make this life spicy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the simulate the people who run the simulation do. Mm-hmm. Hey man. They might be running. They be. They might be throwing this motherfucker in here too. I got. I got another one to tell y'all. So this is an urban legend from from Minnesota, right? So I want to talk about this for a minute. So this because people, if y'all don't know, I love cryptozoology. You know what that is? No. So it's like the study. I always want to be a cryptozoologist when I was a kid. So it's basically just the study of all cryptid animals like Bigfoot and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Aliens. Oh boy. Oh my god. I, when I seen that was a thing when I was a kid, I wa- I wanted to be that. I was trying. I was looking all through our colleges to find it. Basically, it wasn't a thing, but. So, fuck. So, so the urban le- one of the big urban legends of Minnesota was called the Wendigo. Mm-hmm. So basically, this is a creature who lives in the woods of like the northern states and parts of Canada, and it like feeds on humans. So it's like it's a folklore that's been passed down by the Native Americans of the area, and it's said that the Wendigo is fifteen feet tall and it's like a slender build, looking like like a skeleton, looking almost, and it has like horns, like a. Like a um, like a deer, like the little antlers, and it has like long arms, like long like claws and shit, and it says that um, they say the Wendigo is created when somebody is like resorts into like cannibalism. Mm-hmm. So like, say somebody gets lost out there, and the only thing they have is cannibalism. They say a spirit like possesses their body and like transforms into these little white little creatures, and all they can like think of is just like eating people, and like they're they could like mimic how we speak. So like when people get lost in the woods, they think that people get lost because they get like attracted by the Wendigo. And they like, there's like, if you hear somebody in the woods screaming like, help, help, come here. That's like, you never go there. Cause that's like, they're, they're luring you in so they can kill you and eat you. They either kill you and eat you or they turn you into one of them. And there's, vi- there's actual videos of like, there's like I don't know I I've seen it a while ago there was like actual videos of like people recording in the woods and you just hear somebody just like screaming like help help please somebody help me would but, you go hell no you got me fucked up I but would, what if they really in danger I don't give a fuck alright you know what let me chill let me chill I want to be <laughs> Superman if alright how many people I got with me I need five max all your friends you coming with me too. <laughs> It depends what it's saying, because if it's like in the middle of the woods, I'm not going. But if it's like in like the woods when we went to um Rando nodding in the daytime, yeah, I probably would. All right, if all right, so say like I'm going in, you know, I'm gonna call for help. I do that. I just call for help. I call That's the cops. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing it myself. You're right. Yeah, I can't because I'm not getting eaten. Like it's scary. Like there was like like I remember there's there there was a lot of videos where like. They see like something just runs out of the woods, and just like it's just like um it's like like long lanky arm look like Slenderman but white and just like running out the woods and trying to, like eat people. I think the government controls those animals. Oh yeah, I think so. I feel like that's why nobody's seen like real proof of them. I feel like they I feel like they do that to protect us. Like like I talk about this all the time. Like national parks, they definitely have something in there that. Where the government is just keeping it in there, so because, tech that thing is like hunting us mm-hmm. technically, and like supposedly I guess every time it eats somebody it gets bigger. That's why that's just like fifteen feet tall. Just imagine fifteen feet tall. That's just scary as fuck. It stands on all, all fours. No, it stands on legs. Like stands up like this. Oh hell no. Fifteen feet tall, and it says it just hunts us down. So I feel like the government probably knows about it, and they just like. That's why National Parks is preserving the land, but it's just, like, protecting us from those 
creatures. Mm -hmm. Because just imagine, like, if people just go throughout the woods all the time, like, people go missing a lot. Yeah, exactly. Half of those, maybe most of those missings isn't by, like, them just, like, falling off a cliff. It might just be they be getting picked up by something and we Mm -hmm. never know about it. That's and they're, they're smart with it too. That's why they do it where nobody sees it. Mm-hmm. So we don't see those animals. Exactly. That's why government be controlling them. Because if they didn't, they'll be out here hunting us down. That's what I'm saying. They'll be in the freaking cities. That's why. That's why. Like, like people. Like think about it. We're, like the Earth is being overpopulated, right? Mm-hmm. But there's so much land on the Earth. Like there's so much land in the United States. By the way, like all these national parks. Like they be saying like oh we could just preserve the land why they said why didn't they say that about making Newark they didn't want to preserve the land they put Newark on of course it looks pretty but like you could put like a couple buildings in like a national park and have people live there mm-hmm. but like why don't y'all is it something in there that we don't know about they they like there's like a I remember I seen a video in the woods there's like a there's like they had like army bunkers but like they only lock from the outside so like. Whatever whatever's what, in can't get yeah, out. Yeah, whatever's in there cannot get out of that shit. So maybe they're they're those things like the Wendigos is hunting us down, but we're like the government's hunting them down, trying to corral them. Like I feel like there's a lot of science experiments that went wrong that is in the world today. There has to be. There has to be. They do experiments every day. That's what I'm saying. Like freaking I know they definitely like experiment on either on maybe maybe like homeless people. And like shit go wrong and they just get they get loose. Mm-hmm. They de- like there's definitely I feel like in a lot I feel like a lot of the species that they find, I feel like we made them. That's why crackheads have powers. High key. They experiment on them and they can't get hurt. Shit. That's why they be super strong and shit. <laughs> I mean, I be hearing about the government giving the giving crack out in the eighties. You remember? I think the I think the government is the one that put the crack out into the streets. They put all the drugs out into the street. Hey, for the weak minded. It's for the it's to balance everything, you know what I'm saying? You put drugs put out there. They're gonna bash me for that. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you put drugs out into the community, drugs creates money that they can make, which is illegal, mm-hmm. creates crime for the police to come take in, more prisoners, more money for the government. It's just a whole cycle, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Like why make illegal drugs and not let people smoke it? Like you make illegal drugs and people still have them somehow. Because exactly because they know that with that, the crime rate is going to go up. They're going to have people in jail. It's just it's it's all, all politics. Man. All about money. Hey, man, I don't politic, you know what I'm saying? I don't do all that <laughs> shit. But um, I think that's all I got to talk about. Do you, do you got anything else you want to talk about? I'm going to save all my questions for Fritz podcast. Oh, I bet, bet. If y'all know, Jay finally getting a duo podcast because she's, she's been... No, she has been waiting. Nick's been asking her, but she's she been fading everybody. But Fritz, <laughs> shout out Fritz, bro. This is... It's a... Uh, an hour and 18 minutes in, and we haven't said your name, bro. I'm sorry. We did it? No, we didn't say his I don't think oh, we said shit. his name yet. Damn. Shout out Fritz. Well, we know he real if you watch all this. I think he watches everything. Shout out Fritz, bro. But, um, yeah, I think we're done. Thank y'all, for, thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Records Podcast. Episode number 42. You know what I'm saying? Big 42. Who, whose number was 42? Is that Jackie Robinson? Yeah. Yeah, Big Jackie. Oh, Juneteenth. June you already right, fucking know, <laughs> nigga. Juneteenth in the building, you know what I'm saying? And happy Father's Day again to all the lovely fathers out there. My pops, all y'all. My pops. Yeah, pops. My grandpops. I never met you, but my grandpops. Oh, actually, my mom's side, yeah, my grandpops. Mom, yeah, look like Mario. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else do I got to say? Uh, follow all the socials down below if you haven't already. Go join the Discord, all that good stuff. And... um. Subscribe down below to the subscribe. Fuck. Subscribe down below to the channel if you're new to the <laughs> channel. Like, comment, subscribe. DM us if you want to talk to us. Merch coming soon. Merch is coming soon, people. Don't worry. A little technical difficulties. Yeah, technical difficulties. But you know, we back on track. Designs coming soon. Mockups coming soon. So we're gonna get y'all fly this summer. Don't worry. Well, but when y'all, cause I think I think a lot of them are. T- in high school, so when y'all get out of school, y'all gonna be fly. Don't worry, but y'all gonna pull up to the pull up to the function with some no regulars merch and be like, "Damn, you fly, Johnny!" He's like, "Yes, sir, <laughs> gang, what's good?" <laughs> but um, you got any last words before we end the podcast? No, have a blessed Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? Have a blessed Father's Day. What what's going up next week? Cause this is not coming out on Father's Day. I don't know. We going to the beach though. Yeah. I'm trying to get a tan. I'm too white. Unite. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, so there's nothing next week? Yeah, no, nothing. 
But um, we different. They regular, no regular man, gangster. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it.